before you ate them all. So you, you were bending your elbow back a little bit. And now I choke up, wrap it around your wrist. There you go. And keep going. Now, if I say pop it, that's a quick jerk up and immediately relax your arm. Your goal is to keep your arm at your side. There you go, pop. Now that was back. Oh, so uh, go straight up. Okay. This is why we record it. You'll be able to watch yourself. Now. So he's not really walking. I'm kind of tugging that's it. That's all right. He's used to pulling and doing his own thing. So he's trying to manipulate you. We'll go a couple more driveways. So somebody before we hit this next driveway, why don't you put him in this, an SIT and give him a treat. Okay. Now he's got a little bit of a bounce. Reward. Treat sit. right away. Treat. Sit. There you go. All right. So this way we make it into more of a positive thing. Hey, we go out on an adventure. I get treats. But again, he's gonna. He's used to trying to pull ahead of you. So he's. That's what he's gonna try to do. All right. Let's go ahead and turn around and turn to your left. Perfect. And I'm gonna walk in the street. You're gonna just keep on walking the sidewalk. I just want to be on the dog side so you get to watch yourself. Now sometimes I'll use little tricks. Like I'll use if the sun is behind me. I'll look at the shadow of the dog on this on the sidewalk oh. in front. Now, other things you can do is if he starts to drift, you can kind of drag your foot. Right now, I wouldn't do it because you're barefoot, right. but you can make a scuffing sound like that. And keep your arm good, going down. There, that was better. That was your better. That's the best correction you did so far, except for you stopped. You gotta just keep walking. Yeah, just keep walking. How does this feel compared to normal? It's more work. <laughs> it's more work, but do you feel like you have more control of the I dog? I do have more control. For there we sure. go. So let's put him in SIT. Sit. So there you go. Now you put tension Sit. on the leash when you asked him. We only want tension on the leash when we're correcting and only for that fraction of a second. Okay. So keep an eye on it if you're, and one of the things you might want to do is have each other film each other. One of you walk in the street, and right now you have cars because this is a one sidewalk sort of street. But if you have somebody else walking, filming it then you walk back and you're like oh I didn't realize I did that I didn't yeah. realize I did that okay all right let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and just keep walking do you have a couple treats I have one. all right that'll work and don't worry about that just keep going he's trying to get you to play and undo the leash are you doing a good job just let your arm go limp there you go unless he tries to drift behind you to your other side there you go, like that. And then I would choke up right there. Choke up, wrap it around your wrist one more time. There you go, or your palm. Now he's gonna fight a little bit for the first walk maybe. Usually it's only about four or five houses and then they kind of stop. But he likes doing it the way that you now pull them over. There you go, and then relax the arm. There you go. Eventually he'll know when I'm in this position, there's no tension on the leash, no corrections. When I get any other place, then I need correction. I was a little ahead there. Okay. So again, when his chest exceeds your hip, that's when you're going to correct. Right now, he's staying behind you. There, correct? There you go. That was a little bit late. There, that's a great position right there. Now turn away from him. Always turn away and keep the dog on your outside. If you have multiple dogs, it doesn't matter. But if it's just you and one dog, keep them on your outside. How does this compare for you? There you go, good correction. To normal. Uh, I think I'm a little better at walking her than walking in the Rachel. Sure. But it's, it's still a lot better. He never stands beside us, you know? Sure. And if, he, if it is, it's because we're forcing him by holding him. Exactly, and you're pulling the whole time. It's no fun for you, yeah. it's no fun for him. But this looks, he's a little ahead. There you go. So really, be, uh, pop it again, there you go. Pop it, there you go. So you're almost like popping like as his correct as his uh, conscience. Right before he gets out of trouble, you give him the correction. But your timing and technique is good. You're keeping your arm nice and loose. It's going straight down. The goal is your arm going straight down towards the ground unless you're correcting. Let's not put him in an SIT. 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 All right.